Malkina from Thomas Sheep. Welcome to my channel and today I'll be showing you how to crochet winter gloves. And this pattern looks maybe a little difficult, but it's not. I will show you step by step how to make these gloves and I will tell you also how to make smaller women's size of these gloves. And maybe you are new here, so if you like my tutorial, put the thumb up and click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell as well because you will never miss any of my following video. So let's get started. And what you'll need for this project? I will work with this yarn, it's called Cotton Merino from Drops brand, it's my favorite brand and it's a mix of merino wool and cotton, half and half. And you'll need three balls of this yarn. You'll need pair of scissors, stitch marker, tapestry needle, measure tape and four and five millimeter crochet hook. Okay, start with a slip knot, use 5mm crochet hook and then I'm going to make chain 23, 23 for the bigger size of gloves. But it's up to you if you want to have the wrist part of gloves longer or shorter, just make more or less chains at the beginning. And for the small size of gloves, I made 21, 21 chains. Okay, now we are going to crochet just slip stitches. Start in the second chain and make first slip stitch. And you have to make one slip stitch in each chain across. I have bigger hands, maybe they look like uh, boy's hands, uh, so the creamy gloves will fit me well. They are bigger, it's bigger size and that's why I will tell you also the small size of gloves because um, you have maybe smaller size of hands. So I will show you how to make the bigger size of gloves and I will tell you how to make the small size of gloves. At the end of each row, chain one, turn your work and now we are going to make slip stitches again and from this second row we have to use back loop only. So start in very first back loop and make first slip stitch. This is the back loop. I think you can see it well. Okay, so insert your hook into the first back loop, grab the hand, pull it through, and make slip stitch and you have to make one slip stitch in each back loop across but I always make very last slip stitch into the stitch so I will use both loops for the very last slip stitch it's because of nicer edge so continue working one slip stitch in each back loop across and don't tighten it at all works work uh, loose loosely and in each row you should have 22 slip stitches because uh, in my case i made 23 chains at the beginning Okay, I am nearly at the end of the row and you can see I have two stitches left. So I'm going to make one more slip stitch into the back loop only. And how I said, I'm going to make very last slip stitch of each row into the stitch. So I will use both loops, not just back loop. It's because I want to have nice straight edge but it's up to you if you if you will use back loop only it's okay you can 
But if you want to have nicer edge, use both loops just for the very last slip stitch. At the end of the row, chain one, turn your work and repeat it again. So you will make just slip stitches into the back loop. Start always in very first back loop. And in my case, you should make 21 slip stitches back loop only. And one and last slip stitch into the stitch. So 20 second slip stitch goes into the stitch. I am at the end of the row and last slip stitch goes into the stitch. At the end of each row, chain one and turn. So continue working this pattern and for the bigger size of gloves, make 44 rows in total. And for the smaller size of crochet gloves, make 38 rows in total. Okay, I have 44 rows for the, um, for the bigger size of crochet gloss and it's about 14 and a half centimeter long and now we have to join both sides uh, together and I will use crochet hook and I will use slip stitches again. So put both sides to each other like this now i'm going to pull the loop through this loop on this side And now I'm going to make slip stitches. So on this side use stitches and on the other side use back loop only again. I forgot to mention the tutorial has two parts. This is part one and in the second part I will show you how to make, uh, how to crochet fingers. So if you will have any questions, write me here below the video. Okay, and the end. I'm going to use both loops again for the last slip stitch, not back loop 
only. And this is the wrong side of the wrist part of gloves. So I'm going to flip it up. So this is this is uh, the right side. You can see it's seamless. It's better, but it's up to you. Okay, and now use four millimeter crochet hook. Chain one. And we are going to make herringbone half double crochet. And you have to make this herringbone half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. So you have to make one herringbone uh, half double crochet into the stitch between rows. And one half double crochet into the stitch on the row. Use stitch marker because we are going to work in a round. And this is raw. I call it raw. raw. <laughs> so there is the stitch on the raw and you have to make one herringbone half double crochet. One half double, uh, one herringbone half double crochet between rows. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, you have three loops, make a slip stitch and then finish the half double crochet. So this is herringbone half double crochet. And make one herringbone half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. You should have 44 herringbone half double crochets. Okay, yarn over. Insert your hook into the stitch, grab the yarn, pull the left loop through the middle loop and finish the stitch. So continue working one herringbone half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. You can pause the video and then meet me back again at the end of this round. And for the small size of gloves, you should have 38 herringbone half double crochets. Okay, I'm at the end of the round. I have to make one more herringbone half double crochet. And then I will continue working in a round. So I will not finish uh, the round with slip stitch. And I will not start new round with uh, chains. So now I'm going to make one herringbone uh, half double crochet into the first stitch and this is first uh, stitch and first herringbone half double crochet of the next round. So use stitch marker, mark the first stitch and then continue working one herringbone half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. You should have 44 for bigger size and 38 uh, stitches for the small size. If you don't have 44 for bigger size or 38 for small size of gloves, just increase or decrease. It's okay. So continue working one herringbone half double crochet in each stitch all the way around and make three rounds in total for both sizes. Okay, I have three rounds of herringbone half double crochets. It was without chains and now we have to increase. So make two herringbone half double crochets into the first stitch. And you have to increase five times for the bigger size of gloves and seven times for the smaller size of gloves. So I have increased and now I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make five herringbone half double crochets. So I'm going to increase every six stitch. It's for the smaller size of gloves. And every 10 stitch you have to increase for the bigger size of gloves. So you need to have 
49 stitches for the bigger size of gloss at the end of the round and 45 stitches at the end of the round for the smaller size of gloss. Okay, and then we will crochet herringbone, half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And you need to make five rounds, uh, five, ra five rounds in total for the bigger size of gloves and three rounds in total for the smaller size of crochet gloves. So make one herringbone, half double crochet in each stitch all the way around and make five rounds for bigger size and three rounds for the smaller size. At the end of the round, you should have 49 stitches um, for the bigger size and 45 stitches for the smaller size. Okay, and this is how it looks like. And now we have to make the thumb hole. Chain seven for both sizes and we are going to skip seven for the bigger size and skip six for the smaller size of gloves. So now I'm making the bigger size of gloves. So I'm going to skip seven and into the eighth stitch, I'm going to make one herringbone half double crochet. So for the small size, you have to skip six and make first herringbone half double crochet into the uh, into the seventh stitch. If you will have any questions, write me here below the video. I will help you. Okay, and then make one herringbone half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. And okay, and now we need to get one herringbone half double crochet into each chain. So we made seven chains for the bigger size and also for the small size, it's the same. So you have to make seven herringbone half double crochets in this chain. Okay, I need to make last um, seventh herringbone half double crochet into the chain and then we will continue working one herringbone half double crochet into 
each stitch. I think you can see it well. Here is the first stitch where you have to make herringbone half double crochet. Then make one herringbone half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. Okay, so continue working one herringbone half double crochet into each stitch all the way around and make seven rounds in total for the bigger size of gloss and six rounds uh, in total for the smaller size of gloss. Okay, and this is how it looks like. And I like simple patterns. So this is ready for left hand and also for the right hand. Okay, so it will be just a little different uh, when we will make fingers. But you can use it for left hand and also for the right hand. And we are at the end of the first part of this tutorial. I hope you will watch also the second part of this tutorial. I will show you how to finish it, how to make fingers. And thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye.